we saw in the previous video that there are two types of energy depending on how heat is lost we have the exothermic and then the endothermic as stated over here so now let's take the first one exothermic reactions now for exothermic reactions we can think of the exo as external from the outside there are two main types of skeletons we have organisms with the endoskeleton for example us humans have endoskeleton our skeleton is inside us insects have exoskeleton so it is outside and then we can think of the thermic as heat movement so outside heat movement outside heat movement that means in exothermic reactions heat energy is lost to the surroundings in exothermic reactions heat is lost to the surroundings causing the temperature of the surroundings to rise or increase in physical and chemical processes bonds are formed when particles lose energy when you heat water the particles are going to gain energy and then eventually will evaporate as you cool these particles down for them to lose energy bonds will start forming between them and then they will revert to liquid water again so what this means is that when heat is lost to the environment the particles lose energy so bonds are formed between them examples of these type of reaction this type of reaction is burning when you burn or when you light this bonfire here heat is going to be lost to the environment that is why when you stand closer to this you're going to feel the heat neutralization reaction between acids and bases when you react an acid and then a base the beaker in which the reaction is taking place is going to heat up that means heat is going to be lost to the surroundings and then reaction between calcium oxide and then water calcium oxide and water also is an exothermic reaction so as i said you can think of exo as outside external and then thermic is the heat movement where the heat is moving to so exo outside and then thermic so the heat is moving to the outside and this causes an increase in temperature of the surroundings